I recently saw this notice pop up on several Facebook ad accounts. And as soon as I read it, I realized this has the potential to fundamentally change the way retargeting works across the Facebook and Instagram ad platform. So it's kind of a big deal. Here's what it says. This ad account has been selected to participate in a nine week study to help improve campaign performance. Okay, pretty standard. A small proportion of ads using custom audiences will be delivered to people beyond the custom audience. Expanding your audience is often an effective way to improve results, but you can opt out. And that notice did come with a button and an option to opt out. I'll tell you what I did shortly. Now, the first thing to pay attention to here is that it is just a test. This isn't something that's been rolled out across all accounts yet, but it does follow a trend and the trend indicates that it is likely that this is something that we may see rolled out across all accounts in the near future. That trend I'm talking about is the addition of lookalike audience expansion and detailed targeting expansion, which we saw not too long ago. That means that now Facebook will go outside of your lookalike audiences and your interest targeting and find new people to advertise to, even if they're not in those target audiences. So to see this happen to custom audiences now wouldn't be a big stretch. So what does this all mean and why is it potentially such a big change? Well, custom audiences are fundamental to the way retargeting works on Facebook. It's how we do things such as showing ads to people who visited our website or maybe people who are already on our email list or perhaps people who are already in our sales funnel. They're a powerful tool for putting really specific ads in front of very specific people at just the right time. The people that we put inside custom audiences have performed a specific action and for that reason we want to show them specific ads. And usually these are ads that we only want the people inside those custom audiences to see, not anyone else. But with this change, Facebook is saying that when they deem it appropriate, they're going to show our ads to people outside of these custom audiences because they think they'll get better results. And that's why it's such a big change because generally we don't want anyone outside of our custom audiences to see those ads. Often they're things that are really specific and maybe wouldn't even make sense to people who aren't in our custom audiences. So to lose that control is going to be a big deal and a lot of advertisers who heavily use remarketing and that's most advertisers on the platform, well that means they're going to have to shift their entire strategy and make a lot of changes within accounts to make sure this doesn't become a problem. And sure, there could be cases where this is actually helpful. Maybe you're doing some broad targeting, targeting everybody who's visited your website in the last 180 days, or maybe you're targeting everybody who's engaged with your Instagram account or your Facebook page in the last year. Now, in those cases, having Facebook go and find more people like those audiences could actually help because it's going to expand your audience and perhaps reach more people. But for those situations where you only want to target, let's say past customers or people in your sales funnel, or maybe people who've registered for your webinar and things like that, then that is where it becomes a real issue. And another thing to note here is that when Facebook goes outside of our custom audiences, there's no way to actually know that they've done that. We simply have to trust the system and hope that if and when they do that, they're going to show it to the right people. So that lack of transparency makes this change even more worrying because we just don't know what's actually going to happen on the back end and we can't even see what's happened retrospectively. Okay, so we know this is definitely going to affect our targeting, but let's talk about the other important use case for custom audiences, which is excluding people from our ads. Often we use custom audiences to make sure that people who shouldn't be seeing our ads don't see them. Let's say somebody has already purchased one of our courses or programs. Well, in that situation, we wouldn't want them to see ads for our course anymore. So we use a custom audience containing all of our customers and we exclude them from our ad set. Another example is for a webinar. Once somebody's registered for a webinar, we don't want them to continue seeing ads for that webinar. So we use a custom audience to exclude them. So you're probably wondering, how will this change affect that important use case? The good news is I don't see this affecting custom audience exclusions. I think it's very unlikely that if you exclude a custom audience, Facebook is going to apply that same audience expansion rule. I don't see a reason for them to do that or any benefit to the advertiser if they do that. So I don't think that is going to happen. Again, I'm guessing here, but it's an educated guess. And I think we're pretty safe when it comes to excluding custom audiences and this new audience expansion setup. So all in all, while this moves towards Meta's vision of an ad platform where they basically do most of the targeting work for us and we just set up and create the ads, which seems to be where they're going, I don't think this is a great change. I would much rather still have 
very granular control over my custom audiences and all of my retargeting efforts versus letting them go outside of that. I think it could cause problems with people seeing ads when they shouldn't and creating confusion amongst our customer and lead bases, but a lot of this is yet to be seen. What I do know is I actually sent this to my newsletter a couple of weeks ago and shared my thoughts there. So if you wanna make sure you get this kind of information and all the good stuff first, make sure you are on that newsletter. The link will be in the description below this video. So make sure you sign up for that. So for now, if you see that notification pop up and you're using retargeting and you have really specific audiences seeing specific ads, I would opt out. That's exactly what I've done and I recommend you do the same if you use retargeting like most advertisers do. And just be aware that this change is in the works. It might be rolling out on a broader scale in the not too distant future. So be aware that it might be coming. And if it does, you might have to rework some of your campaigns. And since Facebook seemed to be moving to this world where we're relying more on their AI and their algorithms to do a lot of our targeting, we can actually do more targeting with our copy and creative. I cover that in more detail in this video. So make sure you check that one out next. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.